Yes, I'm Megan. Oh, I'm Wendy. And we've got <laughs> empties. So many empties. So many. We're going to power through. Are you ready? Yeah. First thing I have, I just shared this in the favorites video. This is last year's version that like stuck around in my drawer and I was like, needed to be cleared out. Anyway, this is the Jergens Natural Glow Plus Firming Daily Moisturizer. Um, I like this as a summer tanner. It's slow, builds up over a few days, hard to screw up because it's a slow build. I love it. And it doesn't get on your sheets or your clothes because it doesn't have a bronzer like some self tanners have built mm -hmm. in. It's great. I love it. Um, I have so many, you guys, so I'm just going to go for it. Power through. This is the EOS. Is that how you even pronounce it? Is it EOS? Mm -hmm. Dummy. Um, shave cream. Now Megan shamed me years ago for not using shave cream and so I got on the shave cream board. Board? Sh shave cream board? Sure. Bandwagon? Whatever. Anyway, this is the uh, Lavender Jasmine. Or you guys smoothest shaved ever. I like it. I like that stuff. I like, I... This is the one I go for. You know why? Because they have a plastic bottom. I don't buy it. Don't come at me with the shave creams. I have a... I get rusty. Yeah, gross. Um, lots of basics in here, guys. Lots of everyday stuff. I love this L'Oreal LD shampoo. For some reason, I don't have a conditioner. Anyway. Um, <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this line is the conditioner comes in a jar. And you have to, like, scoop it out. Like, ugh, gross. It's annoying. Um, and I often will, like, drop a glob of conditioner on the floor because mm -hmm. it's, it's, like, a lot to finagle. Anyway, um, I went away from this and just went back to it. And I love it for my hair. It's like four ninety nine at Target. All right, you know I love this OGX line. This is the coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. This is just a real basic nourishing shampoo. I like it. I have noticed Target recently has like these mega bottles of this, and I'm like, but I gotta finish out what I gotta use right now. This is who uses OGX? It's great. I love it. Speaking of Target, these are two items from the Bliss line. This is the Bliss Micro Magic Skin Renewing Microdermabrasion Scrub. This is a really, really, really fine scrub. And if you have sensitive skin, it doesn't irritate my skin. It's a pumice-based scrub, which is interesting for your face. But um, it just feels great. It just, it's just like brand new baby skin. Oh, cool. Um, and then this is the Bliss Triple Oxygen Self-Activating Facial with O2 Molecules. This Oh, it just got right in Super here. bright. This one is coming out. Um, this, you just pump out. You just kind of put it on your face like a cleanser, and then it'll bubble up for a few minutes. This is great to use in the shower because I can put it on when I get in the shower, and it just does its thing, and I rinse it off when I get out. Good. And it just kind of um, gives me like that deep, clean feeling on my face. I also have some Bliss. Oh, wow. You know, when Bliss came to Target, I was like, ah, I got to have everything. But I think it's a little bit expensive. Well, it's funny because what did they do to make it cheaper? Because this used to be much more expensive stuff. Did I, they shrink the size? Did they reformulate? I don't know. But I can tell you, um, I probably wouldn't repurchase these just because, like, they didn't blow my mind. Would you repurchase those? I would. I like them both a lot. Know. I would probably buy that scrub. They're real. They're staples for me. I use them both all the time. Oh, mm -hmm. Good to know. Okay, this is the Bliss Pore Patrol Deep Detox Souffle Mask. Oh. Huh. Um, you know, it comes out kind of like, like that, you know, it's whatever. I have 8,000 masks. I know. I always it's, think it's going to like it's fun to change my face overnight and it doesn't. So, um, this is the Bliss in the Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender Honey Mask. The reason I don't like this one is again, it's a scooper with your finger or whatever. And, um, it has to stay on way too long for me. It's like 15 minutes. I need like, I want something like fast acting. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about basics, guys. See the film? Daily facial cleanser, not the gentle cleansing nonsense that will just move stuff around on your face. This, my skin loves. I tried to change to a different cleanser recently. Did not go well. Love this. It's also great if you've got like tweens because it's very gentle, but it will cleanse their, their face. face. Yeah. And then uh, the controversial CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. So in a recent video, I may remember when he's like, I think it's a body lotion. So I did a deep dive, went to the source, which is, you know, a Facebook group. And a friend of mine who knows these things, this is like the original facial lotion. Before they came out with a whole line of facial products. Now, this can be used on your face or your body. But their body 
lotions now have like added petroleum to be thicker and their facial lotions will have like other um, ingredients like they might have I forget but this is fine on your face and I have gone through many of these on your face and it's, it's great it's Okay, I love the CeraVe. Oh. This is the Facial Moisturizing Lotion AM with Sunscreen SPF 30. I hated it. Oh. I hated it 100 It's not even gone. I'm getting rid of it. I hated it. I'm checking the ingredients. Hold on. Where are the ingredients? It, oh, I would put totally it, different ingredients. I would put it on and it would just like drag. There's no like emotion oh. to it. It's, it's just, it's so thick. It would just, it would, it, I mean, like, look, it's still white on my hand. Like, like is there anything left in here? I know like there's on? some CeraVe fans out there, and you do you. Like, I have found something else that I like better. I just was so disappointed in this. And I really bought it because Megan's like, the difference. I know the difference. Megan yeah. so, like, loves the CeraVe. So I was like, well, I want one that has a sunscreen in it. You, you know you're not supposed to combine products, right? You know that, right? Why do they make them, then? Well, <laughs> why do they make a lot of things? Marketing, but... So, not for me. Nope. <laughs> My gold month for you, and it's empty. Uh, you know, I love the fresh version. Now, are there things that smell better or do the same job? This smells fine. But you know, the fresh version. Can I tell you here. yesterday? I'm laughing because I have this too because Megan told me to buy it. I bought it. I sprayed it yesterday. Now, she says the other ones smell like balls. And I was spraying this one. I was like, is it? Do I have the one that smells like balls? Do you have fresh? I have fresh. This it one has. Awesome. It has a scent to it, though. Well, yeah, it has a scent. It just doesn't. What is the balls scent? Once Medicated more? or oh. original? Rose. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's fine. Now, uh, and it's cheap and easy to find. But you use this for your sweaty places, guys. Yeah. If you don't know, now you know. These bad boys spray it. Spray it. Spray it in your shoes. Spray your shoes. That's a good idea. Yeah. When you got the sweaty feet. This is a Trader Joe's product. It's the Tea Tree Tingle Body Wash. I used to like live and die for this stuff. It took me forever to get through this bottle just because I was like, you're not doing it for me. Hmm. I don't know why. It has peppermint and tea tree and you can wake you right up. It smells good. But for some reason, I just was not going for it in the shower. That's a bummer. I know. Yeah. Body wash, y'all. Get the Smartly <laughs> Dollar eighty nine body wash. Um, what don't you like about this? It's like dish soap to me. Oh I have, God. I'm using it right now. I have like this much left in it. I'm going through it, but like, it's so it's thin. thin. It is thin, but so I put it on, I use that exfoliating mitt that we love. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put it on that, um, and it's fine. I wish it had a pump. Wish it had a pump. I wish everything in my shower had a pump. But um, it smells good. It's not drying. No, I don't think so either. And it lathers well. But um, I, it, yeah, it is. I will agree that it is thin. And, you know, it's probably real watery to be a dollar eighty nine. But um, I do enjoy it. I like the way it smells, and I felt clean. Would you repurchase? I would. Although I went to Target to buy a new body wash. And I did buy something else just because I wanted like a change. This is the Red Kin Triple Take 32 Hairspray. It takes me probably a year to get through a bottle of hairspray. Yeah. I don't use that much hairspray, but gosh darn, it smells so good. I buy this from uh, my hair salon. You can get it at Ulta too. Um, I love it so much. I did repurchase. Ah, it has like a really nice fine. I've got an empty box of zip patches. <laughs> man, do I love them. This is the Rayel brand. I actually didn't repurchase these. I bought these because they were super duper on sale on Amazon, like four of these for $10. But I bought a new brand at CVS, the Peach Slice brand. So oh. I don't know what for it back. Is that a Korean brand? Do they yeah, look it's a like the they peach look, no, no, they look exactly like the Cosrx and the packaging is almost identical to the Cosrx patches. And did you know that Next Care, like that Band-Aid brand, mm -hmm. makes them also? Oh, I haven't seen those anywhere. So I haven't seen them either. I saw someone talk about them. Anyway. If you get a pimple on your face, these are the way to go. They just like. <gasps> this is the what's this brand? Rodeal. Yeah, B Victim <laughs> Cleansing Balm. I bought this at Planet Beauty because they were having like a mega sale on it. I was say, that's so pricey. Super expensive. It was like half off, and I was like, well, okay, I'll try it. Um, I like the cleansing balm. I. For some reason, I don't like it in the summertime, though, because it feels like too much product on my face yeah. when it's like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But cleansing balm is the way to go if you wear a ton of makeup, so... Um, well, if you've got like, a lot of sunscreen that you want to breathe yeah. down on your skin, mm -hmm. 
I like it, and it was it's a pump. Go Clinique, take off the day though. That's kind of I right. have that. Yeah. I like it. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be an empty video if I didn't have an empty well, Batiste or two. I don't have any. I've got a few. You know, I had a bunch of other dry shampoos that I've gotten. I don't even. I did not buy them, so I don't know where they came from. And man, so I didn't buy Batiste for a long time. Then I went back to it. It's just the best for my hair. It's the best. I love it. Uh, this is a Murad Age Reform A H A B H A exfoliating cleanser. I bought this because um, you know, a facialist said I needed it. It's way too expensive. It took me forever to get through. It's kind of like gritty. Well, because it's exploiting. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I would. It kind of dried me out. I don't think I would repurchase this again. Oh. I certainly wouldn't spend that much money on, on a facial cleanser. This is the Sun Bum Clear Zinc. This Ooh, is yeah. I feel like we used every last drop of this. One of my children is fair like me, and the other is not. And the child that is fair like me, it. I mean, it is very hard on a day at the beach or the pool to keep this area from burning, no matter how much. I think because. They're constantly like wiping their face yeah. or wiping their eyes or their goggles rub things away. It's so funny you say that because my daughter gets sunburned right here. Yeah, just wear goggles? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the goggles rub it away and then they like wipe their eyes when they get out of the pool and they with the towel. That's my that's my that. Anyway, um, I find that zinc um, works well for that situation and it says clear zinc. It's a white sunscreen, but it absorbs clear. It's not like the white zinc of the 80s, I think is their point. This is SPF 50 and Sunbum smells amazing and I love all their stuff. I'm gonna get products. that. I'm gonna get that because my daughter plays soccer and it, she just gets fried. Right yeah, there. I think because it's a physical barrier. Yeah. You do need to obviously reapply, but um, I like this. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna show you a couple little things. This is all from the same line, line and I think I got it from Sephora as, as, a set. as a set or a gift or something, I don't know. It's Drunk Elephant. This is the Jelly Cleanser, which I really, really like. Oh. <laughs> and I just said, I wouldn't spend a lot of money on a cleanser. I probably spent a lot of money on the Drunk Elephant. Um, this I really, really love. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream for the face. Love this, would probably drop a buttload on this too. And this is the, oh my God, I need my reading glasses, the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I used to really get down with facial oils and I don't like them anymore. I don't know why. But um, nice products. Drunk Elephant. But so expensive. I just bought some Drunk Elephant minis at Sephora the other day. You bought what? Minis? Minis. Oh, Drunk Elephant looked like, too little. They were daytime like a... Vitamin C, I'm like that. Well, I want a drunk elephant vitamin C and it smells like hot dogs. Did you smell like hot dogs no, too? No, but I have something else that smells like hot dogs Ooh. right now. It's hot dog water, really. It yeah. Like Is it a vitamin C? It's, no, it's neck foaming cream. Oh, girl, I need that. <laughs> not that water or not. Bring it on. <laughs> so, um, and uh, during the holidays, Target had this amazing skincare bag for 25 bucks. And it was like, almost like a mistake that it was that cheap. And it included this good jeans this t i mean it's a it's 0.34 fluid ounces but you guys the full size is one fluid ounce and that's a hundred dollars this was 25 it's for so, five products it's so good though this, it's i love this so good, good so this is gone um i loved good jeans i actually have another good jeans that wendy gave me so i'm working my way through that one although interestingly enough this one and the other one smell real no this isn't the one that was in the target this is the one Wendy gave me. The Target one had a 0.5 ounce. Oh. This one smells like tires. The Target one smells like lemongrass. Why <laughs> so smells like lemongrass? Yeah. Which one did it smell bad? No, not no, not my good jeans. It smells this. That smells tart. Like so. Does your tell me? Does your good jeans smell like lemongrass? Because I think this one maybe turned. It's I could you know. These products, a lot of them smell really bad. This one smells like, honestly, tire shop. I'm getting, like sweaty just smelling that for some reason. <laughs> that was so weird. It had like a hot flash inducing, whoa, weird. Also in that same box was the Method Polish by Lancer. This is a great facial gentle exfoliant. If you like my skin, I like it. Um, along with these two great sensitive skin exfoliants. Different experience, um, but... Loved this. This a came lot. in a Target box. 
Target bag. They're like, yeah. Yeah. But they don't sell that product in the store. No. Weird, right? Yeah, like, weird that weird. they did those. For some reason, I got on this Clinique kick. I don't know. Nordstrom had like all these like gifts with purchase. Yeah. So I bought a whole bunch of them. This is the Clinique Smart Broad Spectrum SPF 15, which is really not enough SPF for your face. I don't think so. But I loved it. Like, I liked how, look, it was super swiped out. It was just like a nice, thin, moisturizing. I like that. I don't think Clinique gets the respect it deserves. Well, sometimes I always feel like Clinique is made for younger skin. No? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's because when I was a teenager, like, I had a teenage mm -hmm. friend that, like, was had all the Clinique stuff. And, like, I wanted it all for myself. And that was my first, like, drugs, I mean, department store makeup and skincare that I ever tried. Yeah, so Clinique. why doesn't it get the respect now, like, from a woman of my age? I don't know. I think because there's just so much out there. Now. Oh, okay. And then this is the Clinique Fresh Press Daily Booster Pure Vitamin C 10%. I don't know. I didn't, this was like stupid. Like, look at how orange it is. I think it turned funky on me. So, because this doesn't have a long, like once it's open. Vitamin C has a very short shelf life. Yeah. I didn't use this fast enough. And then when I went to use it, it, it wasn't was like, orange when you started with it. I don't think so. Smell it. It doesn't smell like hot dogs. Uh, trying to do a road water facial toner. I just spray this on my face. They still carry that? I think so. I love this stuff. And we use this. It's not the setting spray, guys, but I'm telling you, it will set your makeup and keep it there. Um, especially if you get real powdery, or if you just like midway through the day, you want to refresh, refresh your face. Sometimes, if I've washed my face and moisturized, but it's a while until I put my makeup on, I'll put this on. I don't know, guys. It's like who would have thought? I'm just. I just love it. If you're not shopping from Trader Joe's and their beauty department, you're missing out. Department shelf. <laughs> so good. Okay, I bought something similar to that. This is the Olay Mist oh. Energizing with Vitamin C Ultimate Hydration. I did not like it. Oh, it was kind of like oily. Like it would separate in here and I was like, I don't really like you. Um, guys, I finished two lip glosses, which wow. I only show you because when do you ever finish one? Never. So this is a cover girl. This is oh, Colorlicious Give Me Guava and the Sally B's Be Glossy. I really love this. I love um, Sally B's. This has a minty scent. Mm -hmm. This says it is the color Sweet Plum. I love, I liked both of these. I use them solo and over a lipstick. You know, a lip gloss is a dime a dozen, but I yeah. finished these, so I'm proud. I love <laughs> Sally B's. And you gotta buy it online. I, they don't sell at retail anywhere. Love it, love it. Okay, this is the Pacifica Coconut Probiotic Water Rehab Cream Boost Hydration Fight a Skin Hangover. You know, I don't take care of my skin that well. <laughs> so when things say like fight a skin hook hangover, that's when my face looks like that in the morning when I don't take care of it at night. Uh, this is a great little cream. I love it so much. It's oh. vegan and cruelty free too. And I like the Pacific line. I don't care for their makeup, but I do yeah. like their skin care stuff. Maybelline Instant what? Age Rewind. What? I thought you I, gave this up a long time ago. No, this was just in my everyday makeup bag. I gave it up a long time ago, and then I came back That's to it. That's what I just said. I don't know, but we just had this conversation like three weeks ago. Go back and watch my everyday makeup bag. You'll hear this exact conversation. Uh, <laughs> this is, I've already repurchased this. I'm already halfway through. I like it. While I'm doing makeup, I'm just going to do this one in my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Rimmel Lasting finish 25 hour breathable foundation. I remember when you tested this out. So here's the problem. Rimmel had the most amazing foundation with a red lid, their 25 hour foundation. And I loved it. And then they discontinued it and then they came back, reformulated. It's not as good. Now I finished this because I'm trying to like use up the things that I have. It wasn't terrible. It just didn't last as long. I did love this big doe foot applicator. The color was fine. I used the color 100 ivory. <laughs> but it was not great. I wish they would have brought back the old one. I'll use it. All right. I'm going to, this is another Pacifica Ooh. Pineapple Bubbles Clarifying Bubble Mask. Slay oil and dirt. Um, I think I bought this like last summer because the pineapple like kind of got me. Yeah. Um, it's almost gone. It's one of those you put on and it gets all bubbly. It was okay. It didn't change my life. <laughs> No, that's it. Uh, that's it. This is, man, this has a sticker on it. Oh, no. 
what is this? This is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I like it. Clear. Sets my brows. Again, yeah, I don't know why I put these things in here. I thought it was gone. It's not. This is the PCA Skin Hydrator Plus Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It's probably expired, to be honest. 11.19. No, it's still good. <laughs> It has a little bit left. I'm gonna use it. I bought this from like a facialist. Again, she told me I needed something expensive. <laughs> I like it. I swear there's one of these in every empties I do. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I always buy it when it's on sale at Ulta. Mm -hmm. I will not pay full price, but on sale, it's a great volumizing mascara. Hate the packaging, but love the mascara. Hate the packaging. This is the Honest Beauty Everyday Radiance Moisturizer. Hated it. Don't buy it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was not for me. Like. <laughs> My jeans are moisturized. It's real thin. I'm sorry. It doesn't smell good either. It doesn't smell good. That's what I don't like about it. And it doesn't absorb in. And so like, you, you know when you put a moisturizer on and it's still like tacky and you're like, I'm trying to put my makeup on. Yeah. It's I didn't. Like, it doesn't have a good user experience. <laughs> I'm sorry to spray it everywhere. At least it was in my house. Okay, and this is the Botanics Hydration Burst. I have had this in the empties. I really, really like this. It has a 24 month um, like shelf life. That's nice. Once you, whatever. Anyway, um, it's like a serum. I love this. I've totally repurchased this. I get it from Target. CVS has it. Just find the best price because you can spend a lot on that brand for some reason. And this is the Polish Choice Resist. Anti-aging eye cream. Why are you laughing? I'm not laughing. Um, I found this to like burn a little bit when oh. I use it. I don't know why. I like Polish Choice mm -hmm. a lot. I don't usually. It's kind of expensive. Uh, it's hard to purchase. I think you can get it in Nordstrom. I think that's the easier way. They don't sell the full line, but um, they have a lot of stuff at Nordstrom, which is slightly easier. Mm. And I have found an eye cream that I really love and really enjoying right now. Oh, so. what is it? Well, it's like. I'll tell you later. All right. It's my favorites. I'm an eye drops curl. Oh on. my god. The babiest thing of my That is so sad. Why right? can't you get a big one? Well, I think this might have come from my eye drops. Oh, like a sample from the eye drops? Yeah, but this Sustain brand, I like a lot for eye drops. I wake up with the world's driest eyes and I went to my doctor and I was like, it feels like there's sand in my eyes every morning. I was like, yeah, that's just a thing. And I was like, wait, there's something we can do about this? And he's like, you have fair skin and blue eyes. Your eyes are very sensitive. He looks exactly like me. So he's like, this is just our lot in life. So eye drops are my friend. Um, that sucks. I like the Sustain. That's the Sustain Ultra. They also make a gel eye drop. That's like a gel? It comes out like a gel? They feel amazing. What? Amazing. My last thing is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This was okay. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the, the Maybelline brow percent. I told that's that's my everyday. I like it. I freaking love it. So much better. And I buy like four at a time because I do find that they break sometimes. They like the tip because they're so thin. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and this is finally the last thing: the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Uh, I tend to get, I guess, very dry. I bought this from Nordstrom. I have like this dry spot here all the time, and so I would use because it's kind of a heavy cream. I would put this on before bed. Do it work? I mean, it's just a chronic dry spot, so it doesn't really. Let's solve better. the problem. Yeah. All right, guys. Wow. We have a mess in front of us and some recycling to do. But those are our empties, the products we have used up. Do you like empty videos? Let us know. You know where you can find us? We're right here every Tuesday. You know where you can find us in between there? On Facebook. In our Facebook group. Come join us. I'm going to link it right here. Well, story shorties. Yeah. Come hang out with us there, and we'll see you in another video very soon. Bye. Goodbye.